All right, guys, time to do a review on official firmware today. Um, I'm going to show a review on the official firmware 5.50 for your PSP. I will be showing the review on um, this PSP right here. Ta da! PSP 1000 model. Um, basically, I'm just going to quickly show you how to install this firmware and uh, just give a slight little review on it along with the download link in case you want this firmware. So uh, here we go. All right, so here we are at a PSP 1000 running on official firmware. And just to prove that, here we are, bam, version 1.50. That's the official firmware. Um, I just recently downgraded this to 1.50 and reinstalled official firmware on this. I had custom firmware on this, but anyways, um, I'm going to need a memory stick. That might be helpful. So I'm going to plug this in. And plug a USB cable in. And enter USB mode. And come to the computer. Alright, so the file I'm going to have you download is this one right here. It's called PSP Firmware 5.50 ZIP. I believe you're going to be downloading this one. If not, it's going to just be the straight up thing. But um, if you don't have an extraction program, right click on it and say extract all. Now you're either going to see an sce.pbp or a 550.pbp. So uh, just leave it like that for now and uh, go to my computer. And we're going to open up the removable drive for the PSP. If it ever comes up because my computer's mad slow. There we go. Open up the removal drive for the PSP and open up the PSP folder, open up the game folder, right click and create a new folder and call it update all in capital letters so U P D A T E rename it update just like that hit enter and the folder will rename itself open up that folder and come to the extracted files take the sce.pbp or the 550.pbp whichever one you download and drag and drop that onto the PSP's memory stick into the update folder so wait for that to copy over alright so now that that's done copying over we gotta rename it once again so we're gonna simply rename it eboot so e B O O T dot P B P. And this is what you're gonna want to call it eboot. Spelt just like that, all in caps. So you can exit the PSP now and exit everything else. And then come back to the PSP. Alright, so back at the PSP. You're gonna exit USB mode and scroll over to the game and on the memory stick. And you will see. PSP update version 5.50. Start it up. Wow, that icon's old. Here we go, PSP system software version 5.50, start. This shit takes forever on a PSP 1000. Accept the license term and agreement. This is basically showing you what's going to be on it. Information board. Um, and the PlayStation Network will be there. Support for web security will be there. Um, an icon for internet search has been added in the internet browser. In the options menu under, for game, under game, you can now perform an internet search using the name of the game and search keyword. You can now view one more folder level, photo, music, and video, and yada yada yada. Hit the X button to start, and now you're just going to wait for this to finish. Alright, so now it's done. You're going to hit X, and it's going to reboot the system. <sighs> Or not, and we're gonna have to fucking turn it back on.
There we go. Anywho, yeah, so there's the PlayStation Network and the information board. Internet search, web browser, RSS channel, internet radio, remote play, location free player, yada yada yada. Um, more folders added, the camera is added like before, and uh, a few more settings are added, things like that. So yeah, that's um, firmware 5.5.0 for the PlayStation Portable. Um, and um, that's about it, it doesn't really add that much, but yeah, so there you go. So not really that much to review other than that the PlayStation Network is added. Um, and the camera was uh, added on the last update prior to that. Um, but uh, other than that, a few more fun things added. Um, but other than that, it's just a, another upage to firmware and a little bit of an add-on of the PlayStation Network. So, um, yeah, other than that, take it easy, guys. Enjoy the firmware if you are on official firmware. If you're not on official firmware running on custom firmware, check out my other videos on Gen M33 and U3R um, and MHU custom firmwares as well, along with SE plugins and homebrew applications. Yeah. So, yeah. Take it easy, guys. Talk to you later. If you got any questions, leave me a comment, send me a message. You got any recommendations for any other videos, leave me a comment on my channel page, and I will most likely make that video for you. And um, other than that, just subscribe to my channel and keep up to date. Take it easy, guys.